Welcome back to the channel, Vernon. This is Jenny. We've got Caden in the back. He's uh, playing on his cell phone and eating snacks. We're in the middle of a dark parking lot. It's cold and there's a snowstorm coming in. We were just leaving a friend's house for having a friend's giving dinner. We got the call for a rescue. We have a individual stranded on Forest Road 085 in his Hyundai Santa Fe. I think so, yeah. Um, he's made it pay a part where he can't get back out, so we're sending out the recovery team to um, assist with bringing his vehicle home. We're doing it tonight because there is a storm coming in that's supposed to be 6 to 18 inches of snow. Um, there's already 6 inches or so of snow up there. So we've got the team of four assembled and we're all just meeting up in Midway, Utah so we can head over the mountain and hopefully get him out. And here's Jenny with the weather. <laughs> Nothing here right now, but apparently it's snowing on our house. So we'll see. Um, apparently the snow is coming, so hopefully we can get it out before it gets too bad. So we'll bring you along for the ride and um, hopefully have some fun. I'm going to stop here for a second and just review my map for a sec. Okay, he says we're about half a mile, mile at the most from him. That's what I wanted to check. I was pretty sure these were the switchbacks going down the west side, and he should be not too far down to the bottom of them. Yeah, it's the next switchback we're coming to, the one that he couldn't get back up. You want to explain what happened here? Well, <laughs> my wife and I were on our 30th anniversary tour. Oh, congrats. And so we thought, you know what? We'll have some good fun and love doing things in the mountains. Okay. And what would be more fun for us than we go to Midway, spend a couple of nights up there, go to the big bear, big, the blue boar in for dinner. And then on our trip home, we think, We'll go over the mountain and uh -huh. we'll, we'll, we'll check. We'll make sure we're on the right open roads and everything. Famous last words. <laughs> Road close sign that should have stopped us from coming down to uh, Tibble Fork. Somebody had been so kind as to move. Yeah. And then we got stuck at the forest gate. What? Couldn't get back up the road. Oh, okay. <laughs> couldn't go down, couldn't go up. <laughs> and I didn't have chains. So here we are. Well, you did, I would say you did pretty good getting as far as you guys did. Yeah. So, 30 years and we really lucked out with finding somebody That's after you walking four from miles down to Cali, Tittle right? Fork to oh. give us a ride home. Ah, Whatever it takes to avoid it. And it just, I, I would say, <laughs> somebody watching. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> combo though. Got you guys from the ranger that we met down there. Oh, uh, okay. Give us a lesson in snow chains. <laughs> Don't use them. They tear up trails, they tear up your car, they... Don't use them. Okay, first of all, when you do snow chains, guys, if you look, there's hooks. You see these hooks? They go down, not up. <laughs> Why is that? because they, uh, if they're down, they don't catch things, bend, and throw chains. You don't throw the link. Go over the top. So you want them to bend part? The little, the little the hooks? Facing down. Facing down, yeah. Johnny can be in our video. Yes, I can. All right, where are you hooked? I know you're hooked to something. Where are you? There you are. And there's the other one. <laughs> and you'll also notice you have a cam. You have a cam and you have a hook. Cam's always on the outside. So, because if you put it on the inside, you will hate yourself. 
Right. Yeah. Push that thing forward to me in the front. No, the, the hook in the bottom. Okay. And then set it up like this. So you have your least amount of chain there. Your maximum chain here. Underneath the tire. Rotate it a little bit. Pull that whole thing down. And then he'll back up. Well, pull the whole thing down off the front of the tire. Like that, he'll back up and then we'll connect it. I mean, we can hook it, but you want to back up on it first because that way you get nice and tight. Chain goes down into that notch and then the S-camp rolls over. And then the little, yeah, that's too much. I can't get it. So S-cam in, rolls over like that. And then the little lock comes up, goes right in the groove. Now it can't come undone. All right. Now double check my side because it's moved in. Todd's got probably like 20. Looks like we've got the chains on. And we're getting ready to head out. recovery finished we got the Hyundai out we ended up using tire chains wasn't any problem didn't need any help after we got them chained up but uh, we're airing up everybody's parting way is here and it's, uh, time to go home it's late thanks for watching everybody be sure to like share and subscribe get out and be adventurous